My name is Tomita. I'm a dean of the Graduate School of Informatics. In our Graduate School, we have uh, offered the conferment of the doctorate degree uh, to Dr. Lanke from the past. However, this time, the uh, the doctorate degree is to be conferred to Dr. Ranke for his outstanding contribution toward the object-oriented and personal computing technology and education research promotion for graduate school. So, uh, on behalf of the Graduate School of Informatics at this memorial lecture given by Dr. Ranke, it is an honor for me to introduce to you the, uh, his educational and research history. Uh, Dr. Alan Kay was born on May 17, 1940, and graduated from Colorado University and received a master's and a PhD degree from University of Utah in 1968 and 69, respectively. Uh, from 1969 to 71, uh, he had been the assistant professor at the University of Utah from 71 to 80. He was one of the founding members of the Lux uh, Paralto Institute, which is uh, normally called the Parks, uh, from 1984 to 1996. And uh, also uh, from 1984 to 1996, he, he had been the fellow of the Apple computer, uh, from 2002 to 2005, he had been the our senior fellow of Hewlett Packard Company, and from 2001 to present, he has built Viewpoint Research Institute and managed uh, uh, this institute as the president. And uh, as you know, the Dr. Alan Kay has been highly devoted to the long-running study of personal computing in object-oriented programming language since the late 1960s. In those years, he proposed the concept of a small handheld computer uh, uh, until today. And uh, at that time, a small handheld type computer was not existed, but he named this computer as the Dynabook in 1968, and he was a pioneer of this uh, personal computing. And at the same time, he developed the small talk programming language with an innovative idea of so-called object-oriented technology. This research had a huge impact on the success of what later became known as a personal computing Furthermore, small talk became the origin of object-oriented programming language, such as uh, the in, uh, which contributed to produce large-scale, reliable programs. And uh, currently, as you are using C++ and Java, uh, uh, which are the object-oriented programming language, and they are hugely influenced by his uh, research in those days. And um, those uh, recent progress in this object-oriented technology owes small talk as their origin. And it is worthy of praise, I think. So uh, these uh, uh, outstanding achievement in the object-oriented programming uh, language and handheld uh, uh, computer, he was uh, uh, awarded a great prize, like, uh, as, uh, for example, NEC's CNC Prize in 2001 and ACM Tuning Award in 2003 and the 20th Kyoto Prize in 2004 and ACM System Software Awards in 1987 too. So, a big awards continuously. So, in addition to these outstanding achievements in research, Dr. Alan Kay has devoted himself to the education of children with enthusiasm. He led the development of an object-oriented programming language called a squeak for the education of children in mathematics and science, 
and participate in worldwide educational activities in elementary schools and other educational institutions. Many of you may remember his activities down here in Kyoto City. And since 2003 to 2003, Six, Dr. Alan Kay served as the visiting professor of the Graduate School of Informatics at Kyoto University, taking charge of Division of Information, Education Environment, Social Information Model in Department of Social Informatics. He made a remarkable contribution to research and education in informatics study in Kyoto University. He was his contribution has been so great at Kyoto University. And uh, February uh, 6, 2004, Dr. Kam Yahiko Kambayashi, Professor Yahiko Kambayashi suddenly passed away. And together with uh, Professor Kambayashi, Dr. Alan Kay uh, was engaged in research and education at Kyoto University. And his lecture today is uh, uh, a lecture in memory of Yahiko Kambayashi Sensei, System Thinking for Children and Adult. And that is uh, also in memory of Dr. Uh, Kambayashi. And I'm sure the late Professor Kambayashi uh, surely sends his congratulation message from the heaven. Thank you very much for coming today.